Alright, what's up guys? So today we're going to be taking a look at how to do some compositing for an Unreal environment that I created. And the thing is, often when I see these Unreal environments, I just feel like they're not close enough to looking like the real, the real deal. So bl blending in some compositing and adding some real life elements really helps shine that up and make it look more real. And um, if you haven't already, you can check out my previous tutorial on how to create this environment inside of Unreal Engine. It's honestly a fairly easy setup, so just go watch that video and I'll be linking it down in the description below. And I'll be opening up the Unreal scene file just so you can see what kind of mountain I used, what kind of cliff I used and how yeah, the overall scene looks. And I'll be showing that at the end of the video, but you can also go ahead and watch that tutorial to create an environment similar to this one. Also, if you would be interested in downloading the Houdini project file for my Dragon project, you can find that in the description as well. Now let's get started. All right, guys, so here we are inside of After Effects. And first off, I'm just gonna start by importing my mountain and my sky, which are some images I found on Google. Then I'm gonna go to my footage and interpret it as 24 frames, since I'll be working in 24 frames. Then I'll take the clip and I'll drag it down to this logo to create a new composition from this footage. And as you can see, when I scrub here, we have a little camera movement going on. Um, I'm just gonna set some in and out points here for the sequence. As you can see, the clouds are looking a bit weird. The horizon line could use some work. Um, I'm just gonna trim this composition. And then I'm gonna set the start frame to zero. And I'm gonna call it environment comp. And then I will be going up to layer, new, null object. And I'm gonna call this null object sky track. I'll be duplicating this and I'll call it mountain track. Then I'll make sure I have my footage selected and I'll go to the animation track Boris effects mocha. I'll then go into the tracking data and I'll select transform and sky track. All right, then I'll press the Mucka logo to launch Mucka. And from here, I'm using X and set to move and zoom out. And I'll select the spline tool and I'll create a mask to track my sky. I'll turn off skew and leave translation scale and rotation on. And I will start tracking forward. And we're just gonna have to wait until it tracks all the way through. All right, once that's finished, I'll be pressing Command S or Control S and I'll close the window. I'll click on Create Track Data and apply export. And as you can see now, the keyframes have been applied to my sky track, which uh, means I have a track on the sky. Then I'll press reset on Mocha, and I'll again select transform for the tracking data and export the data to the mountain track and press on the Mocha logo once again. And then we're gonna select the spline tool and I'll create a spline around the mountains to track the mountains. I'll once again turn off skew and click on track forward. And we're gonna have to be a little bit patient for this one to finish. And when it's finished, I'll once again click Control S or Command S or manually go up here and save the project. Close the window, click on Create Track Data and apply Export to the Mountain Track. So now we have a track for the mountain and we have a track for the sky. Then I'll go into the project tab and I will drag my sky down into my composition. I'm gonna scale it down a bit, try and align it with the, uh, with the horizon line here. I'll draw a mask. So I'm just only masking out the clouds here. And I'll also go into the scale again and I'm gonna scale it up a bit. I'm just gonna try and align that with the horizon line here, move it around a bit. And by pressing MM, I'm gonna enable the feather options. I'm gonna add some feather and some uh, some mask expansion. 
Let's just keep tweaking this until I like the look. Yeah, so far this is looking pretty good. Now go ahead and parent that to the sky track. So now it should be linked to the sky track. And when I scrub the timeline, you can see that the sky is following. I'll then go ahead and add some CC toner to my sky. And I'm gonna color pick the ocean. I'm just gonna blend it a bit with the original. So I just wanna make it subtle. And then I'm gonna add a levels and adjust here. So balance out the sky with the, with the rest of the image, make it a bit darker. And I'll just keep tweaking these settings until I'm, I'm, I'm liking the look of it. So far, so good. Now let's drag down the, uh, the mountain and we're going to scale that down as well. And I'm going to be drawing a mask to mask out these mountains here in the horizon. So let me just go ahead and redo that and do it a bit more precise. Now it's going to be far out in the horizon, so it doesn't have to be 100%, but you could also open up this image in, in Photoshop and use some tools there to get it done more nice and yeah, faster as well. But uh, we're just going to do this fairly easy, quick for the tutorial. All right. I'm going to close the mask and I'll be adding another mask to mask off the ocean here at the bottom. Press MM and subtract that, and I'll be adding some feather. And then I'm going to go into the scale. I'm, I'm going to minus the one axis to flip it. And I'm going to put it in the position here at the horizon. And I'll add another CC toner here as well. I'm going to tweak the blend with original settings here. Add some tint. gonna set this to 40% so that's already a lot better blending in and I'll keep tweaking the feather options to make it have a little bit of kind of foggy misty look to it also to help it blend in better and I'm actually gonna turn down the opacity to help it blend in with the background as well kind of like if it's far away just keep tweaking these settings until it's until it gets the look that I like. Gonna move it into position here. I think that's looking pretty good. Turn down the opacity just a bit. And I'll link it to the um, not to the mountain track but to the sky track as well. So here we go. That's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go, then I'm going to go back to the project tab and I'm going to import this cloud smoke fog element I have. And I'll be dragging that into the timeline, scaling it down, change the blend mode to screen. And I'm going to turn down the opacity a bit, scale it up, maybe rotate it. I'll be adding this eclipse mask so we don't have any hard edges clipping. I'm going to add a very soft feather to that so it really blends in. I'll be duplicating it by pressing Control D or Command D. Scale that down a bit maybe. Rotate it. Move it around. Turn down the opacity even further. Yeah. I really like to go back and forth with these settings and see like what, what looks most natural. And I'll link this to the mountain track and they should stick. Then I'm going to offset one of the layers so the smoke doesn't move 100% um, synchronized. And I'm just going to clean up here in my project by 
creating a footage folder and dragging all my stock footage down there. Then I'm gonna drag my environment comp down into a new composition. I'm gonna call this environment comp graded. And from here, I'll be adding a layer, adjustment layer with the lumetri color effect applied to it. And we're gonna go into the input LUT. And of course, we're gonna be using one of my signature LUTs, which you can download from the description down below. And we're gonna be using this green teal one, which I, I really like. It really gives that cool look. And you can kind of tell this environment might be a little bit inspired from the Alien Covenant movie, which uh, I really, really like. So I'm going to turn down the saturation. And I'm going to name this Lumetri Color. And I'll add another adjustment layer and then I'll apply some noise just to give it that cinematic kind of feel, realistic feel like it's been shot on a camera. And I'm gonna add another solid. I'm gonna show you how to create some cinemascopes. Just gonna name this noise. And I'll be adding the rectangle tool by double clicking with my solid selected. Press subtract here on my mask. And then I'm going to press Control T. And I think by holding Shift, I'll extend this. So then I can tweak the scopes from here. Just want it to be a little bit solid to give it that cinematic feeling. Now let's go ahead and preview this bad boy. Now you could always keep going by adding even more mountains or city skyline in the horizon. Maybe adding some dynamic clouds with some, some lightning in the horizon would look amazing. And here you have it. Here's pretty much the... Uh, the final composited environment. That's how you do it. Now let me just quickly show you how how my Unreal scene is looking. So here we are inside of Unreal Engine. Let me just turn off my landscape. And let me find, here's the cliff that I've used. This one, I've actually duplicated and probably did some rotation. But that's, that's honestly it. It's just the ocean, the dynamic sky. And yeah, these two cliffs and a bit of camera movement and then the rest is done in compositing so and to set up a scene pretty much similar to this one you can just go follow the tutorial that I did on my channel and if you haven't already make sure to check out my custom signature LUTs as well as my Houdini project file for the dragon project and I really hope you guys liked the video please leave a like subscribe leave a comment what kind of videos you want to see in the future and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. This video has been graded using the Miggle Bay LUT Pack. Did it now at mklist.dk.